paper just stressing how I'm worth it Keep my heart out in the surface, I don't be that way on purpose Little broken, I don't really mean to be distant Heart frozen, Tell me thought out so I listen to What's going on guys, your boy Dr. Zamaki22661 in the damn house And I'm looking at the first comment here Wait, where's my thing? Hold up Oh yeah, so I'm looking at the first comment here The first comment said This is better than actual anime So, whatever, we are reacting to the, uh, what is it? I attempted a Pokemon plat No, I'm not like, So let us get this started, everybody So if you're new here, hi I've done this before. Last year I made a video about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke and the game I played in it was Pokemon Ruby. It was is this recording? Okay. Wait. Yeah, it is. What the hell? It's fun, so here I am again doing another. Ah, I remember that. I attempted to Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. Oh, I'll explain gosh. again super quickly oh, how Lord, Nuzlocke this... works. You can only catch the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. Ah, and you have Platinum. to make your Pokemon so you grow more attached to them. Uh -uh. If you still don't understand, is a different story. that's not my problem. Let's get started. <laughs> Hoo boy. Ooh, you're going to this get was my killed. Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Let's see how this is better than actual anime. Pokemon! Oh, notification, of course. So my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon as soon as possible from this Professor Rowan he saw on TV. He drags me out to Route 201 and is about to leap into the tall grass when... HOLD IT! You guys know going into the tall grass is practically Damn, a really death wish. she animates this entire right? thing. Like, what geez. you're doing is basically suicide. Borderline insanity. What absolute moronic lunatics you are. Have you no respect for your lives? Do you have any Pokemon? No. Do you want some? And like that, I have a Turtwig. I named him Turt and immediately used him to bash in Barry's Chimchar. I was making my way through the Turt? routes, but right as I was about to nab the Shinx I found on 202. You just casually step on him. Don't kill it. Nope! <sighs> so no Shinx for us. But that's all right. Shinx isn't that great this early anyway. Then I but, locked up. But Luxray, but Luxray is that dude. You know what? Everyone used to run in Sinnoh. You cannot tell me you used to not run this in Sinnoh. You know what I'm going to say. The the combo and the starter. If you choose Chimchar, probably most likely is either Chimchar or Tur Turtwig. So I'm going to say Infernape. We all know you ran the Infernape, the Staraptor, and Luxray combo. Everybody ran that. It was Infernape, Luxray, Staraptor, B Barrel. Oh, yeah. Or Barrel, however you do it. Because he was the H he was the HM dude, bro. He's the HM slave, bro. With our first trainer, the first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level five Starly. Oh, oh my God! So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost immediately lose my starter to a critical hit. I can't wait to Why see. Why do this I suddenly have a very bad feeling about? I can't wait to see this character development. This. Nevertheless, we kept going onward through Jubilife City, where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the cave above Route 204, and Magikarp on 218. Hi, Magikarp. Your name is Puppy. Just outside the city, Barry runs up and demands another battle, so I happily Yo, bash him his Chimchar <laughs> again, and his Starly too. I kept Barry's on my way, eventually fiend, arriving in Orberg City, and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Cranidos, but Turret landed a crit Razor Leaf and one shot it before it could even do anything. Jeez. So that's badge number one for us. I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited because if you didn't know, outside the Valley Windworks, you can find Shellos. And if you didn't know, again. I love Shellos. I ran straight to the grass to get my Shellos encounter. Don't kill him. And... Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna pass up an encounter, so I very hey, depressingly caught back. the Shinx and named the it Failure to back. vent my oh sadness my and frustration. I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. When I don't want a Pokemon, I name it like Failure or Question Mark or just not having a name. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't want getting you. A slug. While there, we found Team Galactic messing around, stealing electricity, and this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt guarding the door, broke in, beat up the grunts in the building until turd evolved, oh, and found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the uh -oh. corridor, who I was scared of because she's got a fat cat that hits Yo, a- screw, screw Perugly, man. Perugly's not as annoying anymore, but Perugly back in the dizzle was an issue. I don't know why Perugly was just- I don't know. It was like, what did he used to do? You used to, you used to come out of that battle poison on the, your Pokemon's literally on the brink of death. Like, this Perugly. Perugly needs to be canceled. And it kind of got canceled because Perugly is not the same anymore. 
Perugly is not the same annoying as it used to be, which I'm glad. Semi like truck, but I had a all. plan. Back in the Orberg mines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, and I brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would uh. switch him in to buy time and heal up my other Pokemon. Uh. Basically. Uh, Dwayne was death fodder. Turt took out Mars' Zubat, Smart. and when Perugly came out, Kronk plucked off the Oran Berry it was holding. But nice. she got hit pretty hard in the Ooh. process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before he could get back into it, Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Dwayne is Dwayne is fine. He's fine, guys. Don't pull the this, this sad nose for Dwayne. Dwayne's fine. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Uh, oh my god! Uh. <laughs> Dude! All right, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Dwayne gets to live. Somehow, when Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on Let's go. one HP. Top protagonist. Top protagonist P. right here. And you know what? I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live, and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. What a legend. But Top. then I put him back in the box and moved on. In Mount Corbin, Bronzo. He just risked your, his own life. I named Big Boy, which I happily added to the team. And right before Gardenia's gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Badge number two. She's we slashed the gym. guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Let's take a look at how that went. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. <gasps> ah! Ah! No! Ooh. But, I mean, that won't do... Huh? Oh. Uh -oh. Let's just hit it. Uh -oh. Don't crit him. Uh oh. That ain't gonna go too good. That ain't gonna. <gasps> no. Oh my god. We finally were able to beat her, but that fight really knocked the wind out of me. I was shaking on my way back to the Pokemon. Another one is Stunk Tank. Stunk Tank is disgusting. Stunk Tank is disgusting. Pure poison. Pure poison. Maybe I was confused probably for Stunk Tank. Probably was annoying, but Stunk Tank was. Annoying. There's a difference between annoying and annoying. Stunt Tank was annoying. You used to come back poison. Like, what? Like, you. Stunt Tank, like, you, you was kind of tanky, low key. And then you just poison so much. You're just. And then you have an orange berry or something like that. Like, they just always have an orange berry. And her when this like, lady Cynthia shows up and is like, egg? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, even meeting Cynthia wasn't enough to calm my nerves. So Who to keep my mind them? off the absolute tragedy we narrowly avoided, I decided to start training up Big Boy on Cycling Road. And then you. he died. You got that. You know I that happens to be all the time. So before you push up your anime glasses and tell me that steel is weak to fire, which I know, by the way, the reason I kept Big Boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates his fire weakness. But then he got crit. So, first step. I'm sorry, Big Boy. You never had the opportunity to become a Big Boy. Oh, I walked into Wayward Cave and found a Gibble. Gibble is an amazing Pokemon. Gibble. It turns oh, into yeah, Garchomp, which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game that isn't a legendary. Adding it to the team would give us such a huge advantage. Isn't G Gibble hard to come across? Or something like... If you if she got on the first shot, that's And now lucky. there is nothing in my way between that and... <gasps> oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow, ouch. Ah, that hurt. Ah. Sheet. And we're moving on. We arrived in Heart ah, Home City where shit. I caught DeVito the Ralts, Kronk and Puppy evolved. We had a clean win against Fentina, and some lady gave us an Eevee I named Milk. Things were starting to look better now. I was leveling up DeVito against trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey Ew. couple. Uh, let's like go into Puppy. Oh no. Get rid of the Buizel. Oh no! Well, you weren't here that You're long kidding. anyways. You're kidding. Wait, but Galena, and that's bro. why I hate love. In came Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some good news, on Route 213, Ooh, I yeah, finally found deaths. a Shellos. I named it Swoop, and I loved it. I loved it so much. So you see this right here, right? Her relationship with the Shellos. This will be a very crucial thing for this Nuzlocke. If the Shellos ends up dying in any sort away the revenge mode jaded animations will take is going to be insane the revenge the pain 
Oh my god. No, you're not. No, just keep this thing alive. Supposed to have please. a favorite child, but Scoop was my favorite child, and I wasn't apologetic about it. I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Don't Turt die. ended up evolving too, hey, so together with Kronk and Scoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Th Outside of Pastoria City, I caught a Quagsire named Lol, but when I went to get my Great Marsh encounter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a Whooper. So now we've got lol and oops in the box. Then I swept Crasher Wake with Milk, who is now a Jolteon, fun. with the TM Thunder I bought literally next door. I walked out of the gym and... Team Galactic set off a bomb. I ran down the grunt who detonated it and took him out because he is weak. Cynthia appears again and tells me to bring a charm to her grandma. So I'm like, yes, ma'am. We found her in Celestial Town along with Cyrus, Cyrus. the leader of Team Galactic, who starts some evil Shakespeare speech about how here, everything right? yeah. is imperfect, so he's got to blow up the world or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. And then he wanted to fight. Puppy took oh, out his sneasel and I here. sent out Milk to take care of his Golbat. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy and not only miss all his thunders, but also punch himself in the face. Milk! Milk? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You can't. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out and killed the Golbat because Milk was being difficult. So but I gave him a second OGs, chance though? and he took out the Murkrow. The OGs are... Are the Crowbat, obviously, uh, Turtwig, and... I don't know them by their anime names, but I'm just saying. They're Crowbat, they're the Turtwig, and... Uh... I forgot. Anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived in Canalave City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished his team with Scoop and Turd. Then Team Galactic gym. sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. So Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant Lucas, and I split up to check on the lakes. Lucas As I'm scrolling past- Luke useless in the damn story, if you pick Don. And if you pick Lucas, Don is Loki useless in the story. Like. She don't. She does a bad. I mean, she's just an assistant. But I'm like. It's all the flopping magic carp. I run into Galactic Commander Saturn. Oh, that battle of Barry and Victory Road. I mean, right, right there in the Pokemon League. I mean, oh no, that's going to be. That's going to be. Who we uh -oh. swept the floor with. After that, oh, we no. headed over to Lake Verity, where she we did the simple? exact same with Mars. There was a part where Turt got crit and almost died. Oh god. Oh god. But we're fine, he's fine. Finally, we had to go check up on Barry at Lake Acuity, and after trekking through six feet of snow for like a mile, we get there to find Barry at the top of a cliff like, ha ha ha, you can't climb rocks. Come back when you can climb rocks, loser. Rock climb. I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past few gyms, so one. I haven't really been nervous about most of them, but Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against. Wait, what's your team against? Good Turtwig this wait, Turtwig Crobat. She has a Alright, I'm just saying that Turtwig and Crobat, they're the OG. Type matchups with the past few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them. But Candace uses ice types, which like half my team is weak against. Which, you know, nervousness rising. Not only was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the main threats on our team were her Obama Snow, Snow because it hits like a truck and sets up <laughs> hail, and her Frostless because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with Snow Cloak, spam double teams, days. and then just sweep my team. I walked in, took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel, and Scoop shrimp. took out her Pile of Swine, so she was dying in the process, and then she finally brought out the big bad Obama Snow. Since it's Grass Ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know we could... Anyway, I wasn't oh. sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. Yeah, that fire blast used to miss all the time back in the day. Please oh. kill it. Please. It's quad. It's quad. <gasps> what? Burn, burn. Eventually, Puppy took it out, oh, but okay. that was absolutely terrifying. Last but not least, Frostlass. I oh, wanted wait, to have Scoop it? rain dance to get rid of the hail so Frostlass's snow cloak isn't activated, but since Scoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't going to work out super great. However, since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. Oh. Yep. Sorry, little guy. Failure looked up at the looming wow. death that was Frostlass in front of her, and as I healed up Scoop, Failure was killed in its uh, blizzard. Damn, it's really unfortunate. Dirty. I like this main. You know what? Jen Animations is the main character. That's a cool main character. You know why? Because if it if it was somebody else, 
probably like Ash or something. I gotta protect every single one. I gotta protect every single Pokemon. If you're doing a Nuzlocke, you're gonna have to make a sacrifice, okay? It's not messed up. It's just the way it goes. We had to resort to it, but I give failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. Swoop came out, got off the rain dance, and after a close battle, was able to pull through. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for failure, the true MVP of the fight. Uh, Gone. True but not forgotten. It's always a now Pokemon we can climb the hate. rocks to Lake Acuity, and when we got up there, Barry's got snot dripping down his face, crying in the snow because he got beat up by Jupiter, who looks at me and is like, see ya, I'm going to Veilstone HQ. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to Veilstone. We start running through Ugh, the base trying to find lovely. Cyrus, but when fighting this scientist... Psychic. Uh. Porygon 2 freaks me out. It is way too okay. powerful, way too bulky, and it's way too weird. I do like Porygon 2, though. I would like a plush of Porygon 2. Very cute. What? <gasps> what? 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 I did not mean to call that. I did not mean to call that. But I thought of... I didn't. I thought if Swoop was gonna die, it would have been like in a an arrival battle, a gym battle, or a elite four. Oh no! 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 Swoop! We lost Swoop. I wasn't okay. Turt came out and curb stomped the Porygon two out of vengeance. <sighs> yeah. But to put it lightly, I wasn't taking that too well. My heart is breaking. I'm like actually sad. <laughs> but and this is where the character development comes into play. This, this is why I love Nuzlocke. It's, in, it's your own anime. It's literally your own anime. This is where the character development comes into play. After Swoop's death, this, she is a different person. She's not the same person as when she started this. Watch. Life doesn't stop when your dog dies, so I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense, blood-curdling thirst for revenge, yep. I stormed into Cyrus's room. I, did I not call the revenge party? <laughs> did I not call that? Did I not just call that? What? I called that. Fight! Shrimp and milk took a- Hold up. Why did I just break my setup? Got his team in no time. I snatched. Did I just break my setup? Master Ball yeah. and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! And like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Coronet because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear destroy Pillar. The Before planet, we can run I up think. and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have no idea how he found us all here. And is like, I'll help. Lol takes out both the Bronzers, Mars's Prugly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. Wow, Barry. Really doing a lot for the team, aren't you? Uh. Oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? No. No, oh no, oh no. It was a crit! Uh. Not only did I not know their goal, but it had Giga Drain for some reason, yeah, but it also got a crit. So I was starting to feel bad. But then I started panicking. The thing is, after you fight Mars and Jupiter, you have to go into the distortion yep. world and fight Cyrus and Giratina. Mm -hmm. If Cynthia forces us into the distortion world without us being able to get a new member, we're in massive trouble. We finish up the battle and Cyrus starts his whole spiel about how the world is imperfect, blah blah blah, everything must die except for me. Then he gets swallowed up by Giratina, a hole opens a rip in space leading to the distortion world, and I'm kinda just standing off to the side twiddling my thumbs like, Cynthia, please don't shove me in there without my consent. Cynthia, can I, can I go? I have something to do. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? No, I'm not! Let me go! I'm free! Holy crap. Let- get me out of here. Goodbye. 
I'm sorry, lol. We just got you, and then you died. But luckily, remember when I accidentally caught that whooper while trying to get a oh. Yanma? It's time, oops. This is such a good anime, man. This is so good. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. We got Oops leveled up, came back to the spear pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. Everything is topsy-turvy and the late guardians are telling me to push boulders into holes. And suddenly I'm on a floating crest of land with Cynthia, who's basically Cynthia like, Cyrus, get lost and never come back. And Cyrus didn't like that. So he came at me. Oops it, took out his hound doom like and his what? Gyarados came out, so I switched to milk. He's like, I know I ain't being Cynthia. I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has Earthquake. So if Milk misses his thunder here, he dies. And Milk is notorious for missing his thunders. Milk. But it hit. Milk lives another day. He also Ooh. took out Cyrus's Crobat and Haunch Crow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Cyrus steps aside, and suddenly it's just me and the Angel of Darkness itself. Giratina. Giratina. Oh, look at the cinematic. <gasps> oh, wait, you have a master ball. <laughs> I threw the master ball and like that, it was over. I saved the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived at Sunny Shore City and <laughs> yeah. started making my way through Volkner's gym. I know he's the, the world, gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do anything about it. It's not like they have Giga Drain or anything, right? They didn't, I checked. Oops was just Earthquake and everything. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't crit. If you could Ooh, get impact, Ooh, that would be really whoop. un. Holy! But it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Victory Road, victory we road. where Ooh. we caught ourselves a Gabite I named Flakes. Would have been nice to have one. I don't know, near the beginning of the game, say, in Wayward Cave, you know. But whatever. Yeah, let that Better go. late than never. It's good to have just in case something. That berry battle's coming up. Watch it just sweep it. Goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Victory Flakes roll. Is sexy. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> no! Oh, 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 oh. You're kidding. Oh, oh. oh dear. And that's the straw that broke the camel's back. I okay, now, now this is fully the. This is this is going to be Jaden Animations, not as the same person. As she was when she started watching. After Puppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. The Elite Four here goes pretty hard, mm -hmm. so I couldn't go in willy-nilly just hoping for the best. After literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possibility of winning. I added Flakes to the team in place of Puppy and, with a heavy heart, left Milk and Kronk behind oh, as man. I brought See the Now Magnezone and Colgate the the toga kiss I hatched from the eggs Cynthia gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring Milk and Kronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. And it doesn't negate the fact they were such huge assets to the yep. team, and I wouldn't have made it this far without them. Yep. I'll see you guys on the other side. I took a step towards Please the door. Please make it back. Please make it back. Because you don't want to come back, and then you're defeated, and then it's just Crobat and Jolteon just there like... You lost of no return you and immediately got interrupted by Barry who wanted to have one oh, last yep, fight. Barry, uh-huh. Anyway. I knew she would just sweet Barry. I was hyping her up. Welcome. What was this that about? This is the Elite Four. The battle starts and C takes out Aaron Zeon, Mega, and Vespiquin. Oops takes out his Rapion and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. The Bertha loves gave ground her some types, powers. but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through her team. I felt a horrible shiver when her Rhyperior came out, but things went well. On to Flint. The reincarnation. Oh, 
fire. Quagsire. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily Ooh, Oops and Flakes had no trouble plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Now, Shrimp hasn't had much time you know to shine in these fights. You know how long it took me to beat so the Elite Four in this game? Like, jeez. Far. So I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances and bullet punched everything. Proud of you, Shrimp. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle, and many still fear to this day. I took a deep breath. Things are going surprisingly well, and I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, I have only one last objective. Defeat Cynthia. She leads with Spiritomb, which has no weaknesses, so I exactly. sent out Turret to hit it as hard as possible. Flakes takes out her Togekiss, and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one oh of the gosh. toughest oh boss Pokemon gosh. in the entire franchise. And rightfully so! That thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even he fears what he has created. I immediately switched to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. I planned to put it to sleep with Yawn, and then Ice Beam it until it died. That was our only hope. But then, oops, uh, crit. Oops. That was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, Shit. they couldn't do much damage back. You I sat made there and. A promise to Jolteon and Gyarados that you would come back and see them on the other side with the victory. Remember, flashback. You can't lose. Disbelief, knowing there wasn't anything I could have done, and the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out Shrimp to bullet punch it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Colgate tried to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes no. were left. No, 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 no. It's hopeless at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, Flakes outsped Cynthia's Garchomp and killed it. I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know. I, did, I just didn't think he could outspeed it. Oh. Suddenly, there was a chance. We could win this after Wait, all. that wasn't it? Cynthia brings out her Milotic, oh, which yeah. C took out with a few Thunderbolts. Flakes took out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM is on Squoop, and we all know what happened there. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. Roserade. Flakes went in for the Dragon Claw. And the battle was over. Oh my gosh. We won. Oh my gosh. As Cynthia is congratulating me, a sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Huh? Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two, how do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world, that was me too. Those things happened. Wait, was that what? the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape, even when you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can ever accept this victory. Huh? I don't know what ending was meant for me. Wait. And I don't think I ever will. Wait, what? Sad ending? Yo, what? Hold on, huh? Wait, did she actually lose? Uh -huh, wait. Huh? Wait. How long is left? Wait, sad ending? Huh? I'm... What? I was not exp... Hold on. This thing is good. No wonder they I said it was better than the can... Hold on. I don't think I deserve this. So, so she forced something here isn't something. right. Wait, what? This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two, how do I know I'm me? What happened in the other time? Wait, so this is another timeline? Timeline where I saw glimpses of... So wait, this ha did this happen actually? What happened parallel to this world? That was me too. Those things happened. Was that... Wait, so... That happened? 
Torterra died in all of them? The ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Wow, whoa, damn, this is deep, huh? This is a perfect... This is perfect right here. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Um, wow. That is very deep in this anime. I'm... Man... Damn, these videos are good. Damn, this is this is, this is better than the anime. If this was episodes, imagine the. Anyways, that was this. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Deep ending, sad ending. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I think I was right. I was right right here. I went in the comments and I found this. For those who didn't watch the stream, Jaden actually lost her first attempt at the Elite Four. Her token kiss died to a crit stone edge against. Aaron's hair across, and her Gar Garchomp and Quagsire had really unlucky deaths in Bertha's Rhyperior. Since the, and since the rest of her team was weak against Flint, she gave up. However, since the reason for her losing was extremely unlucky and not mistakes on her part, she did a poll asking if she should retry the Elite Four. 70% said yes, so she did it again. She won, but it was hollow. Alternate timeline, Jada was her, and when she lost, was the first attempt. <laughs> Yo, wait, so that was it? Oh my gosh. So she forced. What? So wait, she foreshadowed. Okay. So when. Alright, so when she showed the things when she was walking in and she was holding her head, it was actually. Wow. So I thought when she lost, it was the alternate her. But that was the real her that lost. And the one that won. With the Garchomp was the alternate timeline. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's. I, exactly. I thought the alternate timeline was in the actual. Wait. Wow. This is true. This is better. This... Make another one, please.